What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, talking about this upcoming DFS slate for NBA on 422. So that's a big day for me. It's me and my girlfriend's anniversary. Plus, I have the physical for deputy. So tomorrow's gonna be a really big day. So I want to knock this video out so I can go ahead and go lay down and stuff and finish up her gift. But like I said, we still have NBA. There's still DraftKings priorities, obviously. Number one, DraftKings, number two, the girlfriend, or is it number one girlfriend, number two, DraftKings? We'll see. But if it's my girlfriend, she'll tell me if she's the top priority. If it's me, maybe NBA DFS, but don't tell her that. So let's talk about this late, though. Before we begin, like usual, always hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's been a ton, as y'all know. Let's dig into this NBA DFS slate. So Phoenix and Boston. So let's start with Phoenix. So everybody's healthy, basically. Um, I'm not too worried about any injuries are happening in this. So Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton. I like DeAndre Ayton in this matchup alone. At 6'5", that's a great price tag. Mikel Bridges is still too cheap, in my opinion. I think 4'8", it's a great price tag for him. He can go off. Yes, he had one bad game on 4'13", but he has the upside to get you those 20 points. And then looking at Chris Paul, Devin, Devin Booker, I don't mind Devin Booker over Chris Paul. It's, Chris Paul has been letting me down lately. It's kind of hard to get to him, but he can pop off, as you can tell. So... For me, it's Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Mikel Bridges. Dario Sardic has been starting over Jay Crowder, which is a give or take. He has not looked good the past two games, though. So I, it's tough for me to get to him. Boston, though. Kimball Walker, we need to watch for. Angela Brown and Jason Tatum. It's all the illness. So keep your eye out on this whole situation because it could definitely change the slate. <clears throat> if one of these guys are out, then Peyton Pritchard would pick up the spot start. I don't like him a ton. I like Marcus Smart a ton. No Robert Williams and no Evan Forte still. So with no Robert Williams, I still like me some Tristan Thompson at 4-8. I think this matchup alone is not bad for him. And like I said, just keep your eye out for the Boston news. New Orleans and Orlando, let's start with New Orleans. No Josh Hart, no NAW still, and James Johnson's questionable. So James Johnson, if he's officially out once again, you can go right back to the well. And Najee Marshall, which I like him at 5-4. And then Zion, Ingram, Ball. Um, if I had to rank him, it would be Ingram at his price. I got to like him at 8-7. And Lonzo Ball, I don't mind at 7,000, but I really, really like Zion Williamson. So I just got the update, though. Denny Avigia is done for the season. So that rookie for the Wizards, I, I hate that for Denny. I, I think he was pretty decent for this team. But I don't think they're on the slate. I don't see any Washington. Thank goodness with no Russell Russ book. So let's look at Orlando, though. Wendell Carter Jr., this, this is a different Wendell Carter Jr. lately. Let's pull him up. So lately, 34, 28, 35, 47, 31. He's looked good in the minutes he's been playing. 6'7, I think he can do good against Stephen Adams. Um, Cole Anthony, I like him at 6'4, if especially if there's no MCW. And then Okiki, 5'7, not a bad price tag for him. Mo Bamba, he's getting the additional minutes of 4'7. He's a value, but very, very risky. Philly and Milwaukee. So there's no Ben Simmons and there's no Tobias Harris and there's no Seth Curry today which they should be out tomorrow. So lock and load Joel Embiid once again, even though this matchup of this game alone is going to be very defensive. So I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't a high scoring. So just keep your eye out for that. Cork he left the game, but returned to the bench. We need to watch the status of what happens with him tomorrow. <laughs> at 5-3, Shake Milton at 4-6. I don't mind that. I don't mind Danny Green. Thibault is a value at 3-3 if he does get the start once again. Look at Milwaukee. Giannis, just keep your eye out for Giannis. He's been carrying the Q tag like LeBron and Anthony Davis. So keep your eye out for that. If there's no Giannis, obviously fire up Drew Holiday and Middleton. If there is Giannis, then not like Giannis alone. I don't mind Drew Holiday or Middleton. This is it's a coin flip between the two. Dr. DiVincenzo at 5'8, maybe. And then Bobby Portis. No, thank you. If there is Giannis, but if there's not Giannis, then I love Bobby Portis. Detroit and San Antonio. On the Detroit side. So they're really trying to pick up Sadiq Bay. I like that at 5'6". I don't mind Corey Joseph at 5'1 if he's starting. Josh Jackson, no thank you. Jeremiah Grant under 7K. I'll definitely pay that price tag. Isaiah Stewart, he's been interesting so far. He's been picking up good minutes, 32 minutes, 50 points. Literally went off. So if he gets a spot start over Mason Plumlee, I'm playing him all day, every day with Isaiah Stewart. Diallo, not the same player as he was on the Thunder. No thank you at 3'9". And Tyler Cook, if he does start once again. I don't mind running him. San Antonio, this team is very balanced. So for me, it's just Dr. Murray at 7-2. Uh, the price tag hasn't moved for him. So I like that. 
DeRozan, he's okay here. I just I'm worried about the blowout in this game. So you could see additional run for possibly Lonnie Walker or Eubanks or even the cell. Charlotte and Chicago on the Charlotte side, still no ball. Hayward or Monk, even though Ball has been practicing, so we could see him return not too long. Miles Bridges, he's been good. I'm not going to lie. He's been really good. 42, 34, 54, 35. I like that. I like Rozier here in this matchup. Tawanta Graham, no thank you. He's not shooting or he's not getting over 30 minutes. Washington's hard to get to, and so is McDaniels. Good luck guessing between the Martin twins on who's going to get the better start. And Kerry Jr., I cannot believe he got you zero when he started last game. Chicago, still no Zach Levine. Vucevic should smash in this matchup. Kobe White getting the start. I like that at 5-5. Five, five. Patrick Williams is always a value that I don't mind getting to. And Daniel Tice, the price tag is just amazing to me at 3-7. Lakers in Dallas. So keep monitor the situation right here because if all three guys are out, I'm going right back to the wall on Kuzma and KCP and THT. So just kind of watch this team on the Lakers. On the Dallas side, though, it's straightforward. You don't know how it goes. Give me Luka. Give me Zingas all day, every day on this team. So... That wraps up this breakdown for the slate for the sixth gamer. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great and safe rest of your night.